One of the neater sheet metal updates in SOLIDWORKS for 2018 is the ability to create a tab and slot feature. So let's go ahead and jump into this sheet metal part example. We can see here we have a sheet metal with two base flange features. And I want to create tabs on the edge of this part that index into slots on this part right here. So uh, it's pretty easy to do. We'll go ahead and just activate again from our search command options up here. I'll just type in tab and we get the tab and slot option right here. So go ahead and activate it. And it automatically brings up a few options here. All I need to do is choose uh, an edge, a linear edge for the tab feature first. So I'm gonna choose this edge right here. And then now I need to choose a uh, corresponding face for the slot feature. So it just needs to be perpendicular to the edge that I selected. And I'm gonna choose the back face of this part because it'll allow me to do something here. I'll show you in a second. All right, so we have additional options here, but you can already see that we're seeing a preview of the tab. Uh, we can change uh, how many different tabs we have here just by clicking up on the scroll wheel or down. And we can see that we have equal spacing chosen, or we can define a spacing length. I'll go ahead and keep it with equal. The offset options allow you to start the tab from an offset from the selected points here. So we can see that right now it's basically starting at the edge of our part, but I can change that offset by applying an offset amount right here. So you can see that uh, it allows you to control that as well. We won't be doing an offset. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. We can keep that spacing at five for now, and we can define different things like the length. I can make these twice as big, for example. And here's the height option. So currently I have up to surface chosen, which will extend that tab up to the surface here, which is why I chose that for the reference surface. But I can also choose a blind entry and uh, define this as long as I'd like, maybe 10 millimeters. That way they stick out through the part and maybe I just wanna hammer those tabs down to secure those two parts. So it gives you a few different options. You can also apply an edge type of either a fillet and define the radius of that fillet or a chamfer and define the size of that chamfer. See here, if I go ahead and up that to two, you can see it in the graphics area a little bit easier. So we're gonna go ahead and just use a regular old tab for this example and just go up to surface. And lastly, you can see that we have the slot clearance option here. And this is actually applying a uh, tenth of a millimeter space around the tab itself for say a weld bead. So it gives you a little bit of tolerance option there as well. Go ahead and click OK, and you can see that the tab feature is made. And when I zoom in, you can see that there's a little bit of space there for that uh, tab clearance. So definitely a cool feature added for SOLIDWORKS 2018. It also works with regular geometry as well. So you don't necessarily need a sheet metal part. And you can see how thick these two parts are. Uh, and as well, you can see that they're not touching. So the tab feature can work for these parts as well. Go ahead and do tab and slot. Go ahead and make similar selections as I did in our prior example. We'll do this for the tab and this for the slot reference. And I'm not seeing a preview yet, but I believe that's because I have too many instances applied for the size of this part. So if I bring this down to three um, and change my thickness maybe to five, and we've got a thickness option here, and I believe because our parts aren't touching, it wants me to use a, an additional reference here to uh, define the direction of the tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this face. Once I do, now it knows it wants to go off perpendicular from that edge selection into the geometry I selected here. You can see we got three tabs there. I can also choose the thickness. And in this case, I think I've got a 10 millimeter thick part. Go ahead and apply that and Maybe this time we'll have them, instead of up to surface, we'll choose blind, and we'll make sure they go through the part. We'll click OK. You can see I quickly and easily created a little tab feature there uh, with a lot of variation built in. So it works for uh, regular parts as well as sheet metal parts. Again, with a clearance there for a weld bead if I want to apply one. All right, these features exist in the feature tree once they're created, 
And if you want to get rid of them, all you have to do is delete the parent feature and both will go. So back to my normal geometry there. Hopefully you guys find a way to utilize this tab and slot feature for your parts in SOLIDWORKS 2018.